Hello, uh, welcome back to Bright Steel 3. This is Jay Rodman. We're no, I'm gonna skip the intro this time. I guess you already know that. Um, it just feels weird in the middle of a session, immediately following the last. Uh, we're in the middle of exploring the first level of Illyria's tomb. I'm sort of. Oh wow, there's no sound. Hold on, or at least I'm not getting sound. There we go. Um, so uh, we're in the middle of exploring this. Uh, assume it, I'm assuming Illyria's actual tomb, like where her crypt is, um, is on another level. Don't know that, but I, I feel that way because there's stairs that we can't get to, and that should be the objective of the entire world. Um, it should be a matter of, you know, sneak into her crypt and uh, take her magic items that she doesn't need anymore because she's dead. Which is because the general theme of this game is steal stuff from dead people. Or maybe that's not the intended theme, but I don't know. That's what I'm getting from it. Okay, uh... Yep, we can now detect the spells wavering spot, which... I am going to dutifully step on in case there's like a message or something that I'm not um, going to encounter any other way. Mm, haste mage and blank mages. Ah, uh, whatever. Kill, kill, uh, spell of killing, hide, and wand. Is that going to be enough? Repeating that pattern? Looks like it's going to be enough, because one of them died already. Why did we... Oh! I pressed A for attack, and... Uh, that turned into A for advance. Yeah, Kills Overture at this point, I think, is um, pretty strong. I think it's going to be strong throughout this world. That is the Bard song that does 400-ish damage to everyone in the fight, no matter where they are. They are giving me multiple canteens. Uh, I don't think Lydia had any canteens. This makes me think I'm going to need one. Okay, and all spells turn off. I guess that was a big waste of spell points. I'm not fighting these without any spells. see in this direction. There's another wall here, and then an elbow. I think there might be a door here, but I can't tell. Down the right-hand side, it's all wall, which is not a surprise. Okay, south. Okay, it's all clear now. Turn west. Hmm, a little dead end. And unsurprisingly, nothing happens at the dead end. I 
I was hoping that I would get the first hit in and get a net increase in hit points from that fight. It's not how it played out. I'm going to quickly make sure I have any inventory space left. I think Grisnak has one slot. A sure hand amulet, which I can't use. Can a rogue use it? Yes. Okay, I am running low in inventory space. Let's cast Restoration and then use a gem. Oh, I have another Thief Dagger. Somehow I think I already have a Thief Dagger. Yeah, I, I tried out the Thief Dagger. Uh, I think it maybe helps my thief abilities to succeed. Of course, they're already at 99%. And it does lame damage, so I'm discarding that. And that's going to go over to my rogue, the unknown weapon, to be identified. A power staff, which uh, I remember was like some utility thing that I didn't care about. gem. Back over to six. And that replaces my elf boots. I'm gonna stay with the elf boots for now. I'm pretty sure they're helping my saving throws. to something, which is no surprise because we already have it on the map, the hit point drain. Uh, looking south, I feel like this is the kind of iconic view of this dungeon. is a wall and then two walls further. Maybe it's a big checkerboard pattern on the hole, and so that's what you end up seeing the most of. Here I can see a trap is near. I'm gonna go back to where the other trap was. Could not detect it from here. So one, two, three. There's the trap. Indigo Dragon, Skeptics. The Skeptics are the things that sort of like start making me miss. Which I'm really not excited about. Uh, what can we see from here? Whoop! Stepped forward by accident. Here and a wall here. Okay, turning to the east. Everything we expect to see is there. Turning to the west. We can see an odd, but I don't know how far it is. There were some other odds next to that. That's what we can see. I'm going to back away from the odd and see if I can still detect it. Mm, which
witches and mind mages. Mm, fine. You can take a master wand. Uh, the witches are in range, I think. They're big on the wind dragons. Somehow you would expect the dragon would have more hit points than the caster. Or I would anyway. I guess I'd be wrong. So who's doing the freeze spe spells? The witches or the mind mages? They're not dying easily. This is a little frustrating. I kind of have this idea that I'm going to be casting melee men to pull in the mages really soon now, and then every combat, it just doesn't seem like the right thing to do. Anyway, I certainly wasn't necessary in the end. Uh, trap. Trap zap. Ooh, a tongue shield. I think I want to hand that over to Grisnok because Grisnok is the one lagging behind in armor and is first in the party, so I think it's targeted the most. And her inventory is full of junk. Uh, I'm never going to use these Zen arrows. If I'm never going to use the Zen arrows, I'm never going to use the longbow. Okay. I cleared things up. Uh, tongue shield, hand over. Yeah. 
AC28 to 30. I was using what kind of a shield? A diamond shield, which might be an upgrade for some people. Is it an upgrade for, your, for a pure shield? No, it's not. And I think the pure shield has some fringe benefits, I forget. It might be an on-use ability, which I forget to ever use, but... Can I... Pretty sure a rogue cannot use a diamond uh, diamond shield. Um, how about a bard? Oh, a bard can drop a white rose that we decided not to carry around. I just didn't find them all in everyone's inventory. Uh, here we go. Here's a diamond shield. Chantrell, can you can you pick that up? You can. Kicking your armor class to negative 38. Continuing to be the best armor class in the group. Uh, mostly... Mostly because of all these like fringe benefit items, like instruments that improve her armor class. Oh, the rogue can use the dragon shield. Elena, you... Oh, it's a side grade. But whatever, a side grade I'll take. Where am, where am I? I'm where I thought I was. Uh, I can detect the odd from this spot. And from this spot. So, presumably, these are all odd. But I don't know that for sure. Probably could have sensed it going south, but wouldn't have known what position things were in. Anyway. Um, we'll get a better idea about that soon. Okay, so this square happens to be a silent square and something, which is really hard to read. south now along the east edge of the dungeon. Wait, was that spell's waiver thing always there? No, it's first detectable from here. Whoop. Meaning it is here. I'm going to choose to skip that spot for the moment. set the color back to default color. So we can see from here. No quiet ahead from this spot. Nor anything special looking south from here. To the north, I'm assuming we're going to get the odd message. I'm gonna head... Wait, what? I screwed up my... Let's go back north a bit. Okay. I just did some weird uh, flipping in my head of where what I was looking at. Okay, so this is the, the wall on our right, and this is...
the wall on the left, and here's the walls behind it we can see. Now we're going to walk through the land of silence. I think everything we can see there, except for I guess this wall, the stuff we know about already. I need to heal before I get another combat. I kind of, I, I think, I think I've been walking around in a spell hit point drain and didn't notice. Let my spell point hit point sag over several combats and didn't notice that. I am expecting hit point drain right in front of us. I'm standing on a something. I don't know what kind of something it is. We've had multiple of these in this particular adventure. 301 spell points, 303. Okay, this is a spell point regen. A si combo silence and spell point regen. We're getting kind of close to. And our. And our uh, light goes out. We're getting kind of close to the necropolis. I don't think that matters in the game's logic though. It seems like... Geographic is not the right way. Wait, quite the right word. Cartographic? Proximity just doesn't matter to the counter design. Like if you're two squares away from some, like if there's a big ice room and you're one square away from it, it doesn't have any effect. It doesn't mean you're more likely to encounter the icy enemies. It, it just means on the map you're one square over from that. I feel like the haste mages should be casting haste, not summon slayer. Right for detecting the stairs? Yep, that's the wraparound. Um, turning south. 
So you wall on both sides, and then in front, and extending to our right. Oh, and then this wall that we already know is there, we can also see. The left. Spinner. To the right, definitely a spinner. Yep, a, a spinner we already mapped on the wraparound is to our left. Let's go down to that dead end first. After we kill some shade warriors. Angel's Harp. Can I... Is that an on-use item? Huh. So I might feel like it's going to be a Resurrect. I'm also curious if it sounds different. Oh, listen to that. That's some that's some uh Commodore 64 Sid Glory. Those plucked harp strings. Not at all synthetic. I mean I like them actually. I just think it's kind of I don't know, it's It's sort of interesting when you old ancient uh tech is used to create um, you know, verisimilitude, uh, or quote-unquote realism, because, you know, it, it can't get there. It can only get suggestive of it. Was that a darkness? I think that was a darkness. I was too much in a hurry, and I charged right across to this side. Yeah. Yep. It's a darkness square. wanted to join me. Oh, we have another message. There's so many messages right here. Foul beasts slink through the shadows, and derisive laughter echoes hauntingly through the halls. got a waiver message up here and again I don't think we can really tell if that message is here or here or what and again it makes me wonder oh you know how I didn't detect it I came around this way came back this way turned south this way and maybe face this way but probably would have said oh that's the waiver I already know about um, but it definitely wasn't here, so I'm going to guess it's there. Probably one here, too. Now, are we standing on spell point regen? What are we standing at? Yes. I 
sort of wish spell point regen was rarer by a lot. Like, only a couple dungeons would have them, maybe? Something like that? And only a couple spots in those couple dungeons? And, while being rarer, I wish it was way better. Because it's really not. It means that, um... If I... You know... Wander away from the game for an hour, I'll have a lot of spell points regained. But if I wandered away from the game for an hour anyway, I'd have a lot of spell points regained. I think... As compared to uh, having regain items and Rhyme of Duo time, it's 50% more to be standing on a spell point regen zone, which is more, but you're likely to be at maximum if you wander away from the computer. If you don't wander away from the computer, it's likely to be four points or something like that. Uh, I don't know how to organize my search of this middle space. I'm just going to charge in, well, you know me, I'm going to exercise my detection stuff to, uh, I'm going to head north, because I want to get a firmer idea about the spell point cancelling, or the spell cancelling area. Nothing new looking east. Nothing new looking west. to see nothing going here, because I've already cleared that trap. This trap I may not have cleared. No, I did. Okay, let's go around this way. fight. I'm not going to bother fighting a lonely strike fast. Maybe I should, though. Probably should be fighting solo enemies at this point. For all of those upgrades I haven't gotten. Hide. Spe and try to reel in the Mind Mage. Ah, oh, the Chaos Fiend which is pushing us away. And then he, he the oh no the mind mage did that crap ton of damage. Okay, so the chaos fiends are a little bit like crazy eddies, or in that. You really have no idea how far away they're going to be on any given turn. Soothing Balm. Shrill Flute. Uh, that doesn't sound good to play music on. Sounds good to bring a lot of dogs to attack you. Hmm. Darkness. I don't know why my compass fell off. Probably 
just ran out. This is not darkness. Here I am in the something square. Again, spell point regen. Moving on. We can detect a quiet ahead, which is not unexpected. And then another darkness. We have a strong mirror image theme going on here. Stepping ahead, we get our anti-magic. I went there. But I'm going to go forward into this space and find out it's a spell point train. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't have turned around in place. I took two extra hits from it. Okay, so... Oh, there's a wall here I never even bothered to put down. I feel like this I feel like this game is very inconsistent in terms of when does anti magic turn off light spells, but maybe there isn't an anti magic This is not an anti-magic square. It could be, like, there. Well, I'm going to cast all these spells. They're going to get knocked off again in a moment. Uh, so to the north, there's a something, which could be this red zone. And an odd, which I'm pretty sure is going to be... Okay, and this is definitely anti-magic, it just do doesn't... They're just really inconsistent about knocking off your, uh, light spells. They fall off, but later... Okay, I think this is gonna be a spell point drain. Yep. are all gonna be it's gonna be odd all the way I can confirm some of them so I can see something in an odd and if I step forward I see nothing that's definitely an odd All the way across. Okay, so we've finished mapping the first level of Larius Tomb, which, um, had basically nothing of importance for us. Uh, there were some messages about evil things crawling around here. I'm sure we've killed lots of those evil things. Or lots of those things. It's certainly possible that we are, uh, as 
murder hobos that we've killed all the wrong things. But, um, we've done seemingly everything we can do in this dungeon for now because there's this large black crystal blocking the way north that we're going to have to solve to get further into the dungeon. Um, so, for the next thing I guess I'm going to be doing is heading into the Violet Mountain to get a key, I think? That's what a bartender told us. <laughs> Bartenders are always right. And... Um, why can I not find my character disc? Oh, my focus is on the mapping software. That's what's wrong. Um, and uh, presumably kill a dragon. See you then.